Hello and welcome to Asian Persuasion MMA's Asian Roundup. Although I'm actually back in England right now and the sun is shining, so I'm sitting outside, even squinting my eyes a little bit. It's that nice. But yeah, little Asian Persuasion MMA Asian Roundup coming at you from England. So what's been going on since the last roundup? Well, I think the big news is that Martin Ewan is going to take on Kevin Bellingon at Reign of Kings. I think that's July 27th in Manila. That's for the interim title. That's a big one, that is. I mean, start matchup wise, that's a fun fight. Martin Ewan, we knew all about him, the champ champ. Kevin Bellingon, since he lost to Bibiana Fernandez, I think about five, six fights ago, he's been on a tear. So that's going to be huge. Also gives as well Martin a chance to become the champ, champ, champ. So, I mean, what a fight that's going to be. That goes down, as I said, in Manila. We're hoping as well to have Martin Ewan on, on our podcast in the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to look like a pretty stacked card as well outside of that. Where else have we got? We've got Shinyo AK taking on Shanye Wirichai. I mean, what a fight that is. The new guard taking on the old guard. And Martin said recently that he, he, he regards Shinya as the number one contender in that lightweight division. So that's a huge fight and an, an exciting fight. You've also got Renzo Gracie taking on Yuko Kondo. Two legends there. Bit of a farewell fight. So that's not going to be missed. And elsewhere, Edward Fuliang is fighting. I don't think we know his opponent yet, but he's fighting in his home country. So that's obviously going to be a big thing. So really, that's a month and a half away. What a card that is looking up, looking to be already. What else has been going on since last time? Uh, Brave 13 went down, went down in Belfast, but in the main event, um, Team Lakai, Stephen Leman beat Franz Lamalumbo. Lam it's easy for me to say, to regain his title. So more success there for Team Lakai. They've really been on a tear the last couple of years, really. I'm going Thai fighter Loma Luke Boonmi, the, the popular Thai fighter, she's heading off to Japan to fight at Pancras 298. She's very popular in Thailand, so I'm looking forward to seeing her next fight. Talking of Thailand, Rajadam Stadium, they've got a new weekly TV show now, Stoke Card. I think it's going to go out once a week. They've always resisted having TV cameras there, they didn't want to lose people coming to the stadium to watch their fights. Obviously it's an iconic stadium around the world, but particularly in Thailand for Muay Thai. So a weekly card there going out live, I think just on Thailand, I think maybe outside of Thailand, but that's pretty exciting. Also sticking with Muay Thai, the Muay Thai legend Bukai, he's, sorry Bukau, he's opened up a, a gym uh, in Chiang Mai, which looks brilliant. It's got lots of space, acres and acres, it's very self-sufficient. Obviously you can imagine you can get amazing training there. Um, you can do everything, everything you need to do, you've got to do it yourself. There's no distractions like there is at like Phuket and the other places where fighters tend to go to train in Thailand. I mean there's some fantastic gyms in Thailand. Fighters First time the best fighters from all around the world go there to train, but there are the distractions of the parties, the beaches. We're here in Chiang Mai, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. So if you're really, really, really serious about your training, can't think of many places worse to go than there. Again, stick with Muay Thai, a lot of Muay Thai news going on the last week or so. Uh, the Muay Thai legend, John Wayne Parr, his daughter Jasmine made her debut in Thailand just this last week, I believe in Suatani. Um, I think she's only 15 as well. Um, I think she had to overcome a lot of adversity as well. I think she came down ill two days before, spent the two days before the fight in bed. Her dad, John Wayne Parr, he got very ill on the way to the fight, couldn't make it. But despite that, she got the victory and apparently she was very popular, as you can imagine, with her dad being who he is. I imagine she'll She's going to have a, an exciting career ahead of her. What else? Back to sort of MMA martial arts. It's a big week here in Asia. We've got Pinnacle of Power obviously going down in Macau on Saturday. Um, talked about that last roundup. Interestingly, there's been a change of main event. The Adrian Marias versus Gaethje Eustachio. Got it right that time. Eustachio is now the main event. 
I think I said last time, for me that was the bigger fight. Although the co-main event, Zhong Jingnan versus Laura Balin, believe the Panda, is fighting in her home country. Champion versus interim champion. You don't get much bigger than that. I mean, I think we can agree there's there's too many interim titles floating around now. It's almost like as in, if you haven't defended your belt for a week, we're going to do an interim belt. But on the positive, when you do get champion versus interim champion, they are exciting. Elsewhere on that card, as I spoke about last time, we've got Ev Ting versus Koji Ando. That's going to be a fun fight. Ev Ting, one of my favourite fighters, uh, one of my favourite people to interview as well. Great guy. Um, finding another guy who, who brings it, who's a tough fighter, that's a big fight. I mean, that's, I mean, Shinya, as we said, is fighting in Manila end of July. You've got Ev Ting fighting this week in Macau. You think one of those two would be challenging Martin for the lightweight championship next. Uh, so that, they'll both be looking for big performances. Also, you've got Danny Kingad as well, exciting young fighter, and Alain Galani, another really exciting fighter. So that's an exciting fight card. And as we know, at the same time, over in Singapore, we've got UFC Singapore, which obviously is a big card. Um, you've got Cowboy versus Leon Edwards in the main event. That's a huge fight. D uh, D Donald Cowboy Cerrone has just said yesterday, He's, he, he's a pissed off cowboy now. He said he's trying to be nice and you know, as he does, he enjoys fighting. He doesn't need to make it all bargy argy back and forth. I think Leon Edwards has. These young fighters tend to, that's, that's kind of the, the route they're going down. And I think he's got a little bit under Donald, Donald Cowboy's, Cerrone's skin. So that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting. Also on that card, you've got Vincent Peru, Peru taking on Tyson Pedro. What a fight that's going to be. That's going to be a really exciting one. You've got the two Jessicas, Jessica Rose Clark versus Jessica I. That's going to be a really fun one. You've obviously got lots of Asian fighters, including Lee Jing Liang and Taruti Ishiara, the big character who trains at Team Alpha Maya, Male. Um, all round, really big, fun card. And just to obviously give it that twist, they're going head to head with one championship. We've got Asian Persuasion MMA's Akilash in Singapore right now, covering all the open workouts, media day, speaking to the fighters. So keep your eye out on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel for lots of our own content and the latest news going down in Singapore. Um, it's gonna be a fun one. And it's gonna be fun as well, hopefully one championship. They brought out their app recently, their One Super app, which is brilliant. You can watch any fight of theirs live, wherever you are in the world. I mean, that is phenomenal. And you'll see Singapore's going down on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, so it's, not, it's UFC versus One, app versus app. It's gonna be interesting to see how the, how the numbers go. Obviously, outside of Asia, UFC will be, will be the bigger bigger card. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure the numbers on these uh, fight pass only cards are with UFC. It'll be interesting to see how it goes down in Asia, particularly with one's new Super Series app, or Super app I should say, Super Series is slightly separate. Um, that's pretty much it I think for today. Like I said, look out for our content coming from uh, Singapore. Um, There'll be lots coming out there, and I'll be back for another little roundup probably next week. Probably talk about these two big cars this weekend and anything else that's been going on. If you've got any comments or anything, leave them below and um, we'll try and maybe address them in the next roundup. Cheers, enjoy the fights this weekend.